your Precision 18 forecast. News 18, weather from where you live. Well, take a look at this photograph. Notice how green it is, nice forest canopy. This was taken at Celery Bog. What date do you think this picture was taken? It was in 2012. Well, actually, March 31st of 2012, that photo was taken. And when you compare how our trees look today, we're way behind 2012. But that was a record-breaking uh, spring. Well, specifically, record-breaking March. Very warm. And the high on March 31st of 2012 was only 57. That's about average. But this was only one of three days during the month that we failed to reach 60 degrees. We had eight days in the 80s and five consecutive nights in West Lafayette in the 60s. And at that time, you, of course, you could see all the trees leafing out, but also we had the flowering dogwoods, a, a good month ahead of schedule in full blossom. Tonight, it's mild. We've got a cold front coming through. Now, this looks like it's just raining everywhere, but the air is incredibly dry. Most of this is not even reaching the ground. I've kind of filtered that out, out on precision. Just a few sprinkles, perhaps a couple little showers. And that'll be the case tonight. Little isolated showers, little sprinkles, not out of the question. Turns a little cooler tomorrow, but a lot of wind and very low humidity. Dew points in the 20s tomorrow, so a little elevated brush fire danger, but still a nice day. Three waves of rainfall mid and late week. May even have some severe weather Friday. A few of you may touch 70, 72 degrees on Friday, but a total of one to two inches of rainfall likely. Tonight with the front coming through, colder in the northwest where we'll drop into the upper 30s to mid 40s. Near 50 Lafayette, same thing Burlington, 47 at Monticello. Tomorrow, low 60s in the south and southeast, even 61 Lafayette, but 56 at Rensselaer, 59 Monticello. West winds gusting to 40 miles an hour. And again, the elevated brush fire danger. Wednesday, low 50s north, low 60s six, uh, south, and 57 at Lafayette as the rain comes in. And rain on Thursday, warm front works a little farther northward, 62 Lafayette, but still low 50s in the north, but 64 degrees at Crawfordsville. Tonight, a couple sprinkles, a couple isolated showers will give way to a clearing sky. As a matter of fact, tomorrow will be mostly sunny with the strong winds. Notice that's 10 o'clock in the morning, and this is through the afternoon. A good deal of sun, but some clouds start to come in during the evening. Tomorrow night we go overcast, and by early Wednesday, some rain starts to come up from the south, at least a little bit, but I think the majority of the rainfall will come in Wednesday afternoon. Could even be a couple of thunderstorms mixed in this. And this will be the first main wave of rain. Remember, we've got three. So one wave works along and north of the warm front on Wednesday. Rain, a few thunderstorms, severe weather threat southwest of here. Warm front works a little farther northward on Thursday. We'll have another wave of rain and a few thunderstorms. That may last into early Friday morning. But then for Friday afternoon, cold front approaches. We may see a narrow little squall line develop. That may bring us a severe weather threat, mainly a wind and hail threat. We'll keep an eye on it. And that turns cooler as the winds are strong from the northwest behind it. But overall, one to two inch rain out of this in some places may get about two and a quarter inches. Seven day forecast, 68 Friday. Some of you will get into the low 70s, but cooler and windy Saturday at 48, but we're back to 64 on Monday. Ah, now that we're in April, we're kind of bouncing back quickly, but it's pretty amazing seeing that picture taken on March 31st with all the greenery and we are way behind that right now. What a difference I guess two years makes. Two years makes. Yes. Right. Well, three days worth of rain, I tell you what, the Pacers won.